<laughs> let's just let's just rip the band-aid off. There's just no point in stalling. I don't know what's waiting for me on this planet. I just it's just been described to me as utter shit. Like the worst thing in this game. So yeah, you know, good thing I'm in a good mood when we start. So that there's some buffer, so there's a bit of a buffer. So that at least we're not starting out in a crap mood. It might end in one, but at least there'll, there'll be a, a bit of a progression. Or maybe we'll play it and I'll be like, eh, yeah, it wasn't actually that bad. Doubtful, but we won't know until we actually do it. So let's just, let's just go, let's go do things. Enter factory. You need the hypnomatic here. Once you've found all of its parts, you'll have to go to another planet to have it assembled. Alright, cool. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Guess we'll go the other way then. I guess we, uh, we'll be going over here. Hello, floating purple rocks. Someone going fishing? Looks like someone is indeed going fishing. Oh, wait, is that a person? Is that the, uh... <gasps> Oh, man! It won't budge! Violence is not the answer. Can you move this rock, sir? I am able. And? Patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yes. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. Huh? You need nine moonstones to move the. Oh, it's the same goddamn thing as the stupid ass. Let me guess. There's gonna be a bunch of big ass monsters guarding all. Yep. That. Yep. 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 All right. Get out the synthesoid. Get out the the thing. Get out the the sentry gun. Blast them all to smithereens. Oh, that sure is a lot of them, isn't it? That sure is a mighty ton of them, aren't- That's a lot of missed big yetis. Hey, yetis, you wanna not? Yeah, let's not. We're almost out of ammo and we barely even begin- Okay, are they- Do they just- Are they gonna keep spawning? They- Are, are they not- Are they infinitely resp- Okay, if they're infinitely respawning, I- I'm not gonna- Holy cr- Why? What- Whoa, 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 Uh, uh, hmm, uh, alright. I didn't realize we were playing Dark Souls. Fucking giant-ass snake dragon- Where in another one? What are you- Whoa, hey, 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 hey. We're all friends here, right? Yes, we can be friends. Ow! Okay, never mind. I guess- Let me guess. There's gonna be another one? No. Yep, there they are. There they are. And, uh, what? Oh, wow! 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 They just fuck you right in the ass, don't they? Wow! Oh my god! Oh, no! Alright. I'm guessing it doesn't say- Oh, it actually does. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Alright. It saves your- <laughs> God, wow. He just reamed me! Just instant the laser the late not there's a million of the of the, the yetis and also they have insta kill uh, not insta kill but almost insta kill laser snake Jafar dragon snake laser thing, well whatever at least it saves them so here there's four oh okay never mind I I thought I could give them to, already man this is my safe space you're invading my safe space I don't appreciate that go go back to the hole you came at you crawled out of and I have to kill these things don't I that they're they're not all just gonna be laying around in the open. That would be too easy. That wouldn't be worthy of, get, of getting this section labeled the worst thing ever. Okay, fine. Well, I guess I'll kill the- I'll slay the dragon because fuck me. Here, take all of my turrets. Take every single one of my turrets. Slay everything. Kill everything in sight. Here's all the turrets I have at my disposal. Also, here's my synthesoid. And while we're at it, take some of my, uh, of my seeker gun. Unleash the seeker gun upon the giant snake thing. Surely I can kill at least one. Oh, I got him. Okay. Alright. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fuck off back to the beginning. And I'm gonna restock on my turret. And I'm gonna restock on my sentry gun. And then we'll go... Surely they won't follow me up here, right? Alright, good. At least they, they have some understanding of boundaries. I think we have the strat. I think we have the strat. It's the turret spam. Synthenoid and then sentry gun. 
I mean, we're, I mean, we'll probably lose this run, but that's okay because we keep all. If we had to get all the moonstones in one run, that would be awful. But because it keeps, it, it, it tracks your progress. I think we actually stand at something of a decent chance. God damn it with the lag again. This is not the. It's like the worst possible time for you to lag. Also, there's no snow beasts over here, so that helps a lot actually. That I only have to deal with Mr. Snake Man. That's very much appreciated. Oh, but I, and I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Had to open my mouth and talk, and guess what? Here they are. They, they, they showed up late to join the party. At least it's only one. At least it is only one of them. At least it is only a single... Well, I, uh, of course, I say that. And hit, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I'm not always going to get as lucky as that, I assume, in that all the snow beasts are just going to disappear for a minute. Actually... Let me- yeah, kill me. So I can get- I can get my health back. And it keeps my Moonstone collection. And it wars me right back here so I can restock on ammo. Man, imagine if I didn't buy the mini turret glove. That would have been awful. If I didn't have this to help me out here. Now, where were the other one? Uh, okay, there's one over there. And then I assume it's gonna be a snake that pops out of the hole. Or right, there's- there's- oh, oh, there's a lot of them here. Okay, there's more here than I thought, actually. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Hey, hey, hey. Pig piling was not on the menu here today. I didn't- I didn't approve of this. You didn't sign off on a pig pile on the me. Alright, just run a circle, deploy the turrets. You know the strat. You know the strat. Deploy the turrets. Form the circle around the Yeti beast. Divide and conquer. And then we sit back and watch the fireworks with the help of my seeker gun. Clear out the snow beast and then focus all attention on the snake itself. See, like, this isn't lagging the game out. But doing the jetpack thing last time is what was... It, it was too much for this game to handle. And that's... That's nine that we need. But I think I saw more. Yeah, there's more out here. So, I'm guessing that, like, last time, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a secondary objective that you can get for collecting all the... Collecting every moonstone that you have out here. So, I'll have a... I'll have a... I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go until I die. I'll, I'll keep wandering around here. Is it? Oh, it was struggling to catch up to me. It's like in Mario Kart when you're going 200cc and the, and the blue shell just actually can't fucking catch you. No more snakes? No snakes? Or dragons or whatever they're, whatever they're meant to be? Look, feel, like, feels like a bit of a mixture between dragons and cobras. That's what that is. Another one? No, we already killed the one here. Right, we have 11, we needed 9. It's probably going to be another objective for like 15 or something. Maybe 20 if they're especially dickish. So I'll grab whatever else I can find here. Until they kill- until something kills me and I'm forced back to the- to the start of the level. I will get- I will get as many of them as I can find. But I feel like I'm running out of places for these things to be- Oh, well, there's one right there. Uh, well, I mean, I'll- I'll try, but like, lol, if you think I'm actually gonna- I'm actually- I'm actually gonna win this. I'm, I'm out of ammo on pretty much everything. Everything important, anyway. Yeah. That was inevitable. But, not a loss. I just restock on everything, and then we're right back into the fight. Alright, let's find out what the secondary, because I know there's going to be another one. Oh. Yes. Your arrival with the Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. <laughs> Gee! What a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a hypnomatic. Well, you may have it in exchange for more moonstones. Well, now we're definitely doing the, 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 the quest. Material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. 16 moonstones. Wait, 16 more moonstones? Or 16 total moons? Fuck off, you goddamn yeti asshole. Are there even 13 more moonstones to find out here? I feel like I've been pretty thorough in checking this place, and I don't know where they could possibly be hidden. I mean, I know there's that the one snake over there that we were trying to kill before, before I died. But, like, that many? M maybe there's more elsewhere on the planet. Because, like, now, now we- because- it seems like this is the optional quest. Whoa! Uh, okay. The world disappeared there for a second. But I do like that it got an upgrade. 
this is like the best possible time it could have gotten an upgrade. The, the, the main quest involving Angela involves going into the factory, which we can't do unless we get the hypnomatic, so we need to do this. So, originally I was like, oh, hyp hypnomatic? I don't think I need that, but it turns out I actually do need that to progress with the story, so this this is no longer an optional thing we gotta do, and, uh, uh, sure, I'll try to kill you, why not? It'll be fun. It'll be fun seeing how badly we lose to you without the aid, without the aid of the turrets, the mass army of turrets I can surround you with. How quickly, oh, well, I mean, that's helpful. That, that'll make things a little easier. Let's see if I can beat you without the turrets. Can we beat you without the turrets? The answer is I'm gonna go with... Oh my god, we did it. Wow. I'm amazed that worked. Okay, we're at five. We just need 11 more. We, yeah, we only need 11 more. No, no big deal, really. Just, just a measly 11 more moonstones and then we'll, we'll be fine. I think that's everywhere we could be in this massive wide open plains. So I guess our next move is going to be to go back to, probably go through the, that next session, because the, the, the cave was open, and the cave isn't connected to, to the factory area over there. That's still something else entirely. So we'll, we'll check that out. And we'll s Can you just grab the moonstones right up there, floating around the rock? Oh, well, I guess it'll disrupt the holy flow of the whatever. Do not let me walk in here and then, and then have them say, you need a hypnomatic to do blah blah blah. Oh, thank goodness, a checkpoint. Wait, what is this? Oh, the, I forgot the glider was even in this game. I actually forgot the glider was a thing in this game. It's been so long since we've actually had to use this. It's all been the jetpack as far as aerial traversal up until this point. I think we used this for maybe one, one, maybe two sections. And I'm guessing we're going to grind our way back out of here since, you know, the grind rail is there. Uh, I can't see, I can't see! Hey, 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 that wasn't, that wasn't nice of you, camera. Oh, I need to go down, 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 Alright, let's try again. I saw the lava and I thought that was the place I needed to avoid. Turns out that the, the hole leading toward the lava is your only chance of escape there. Alright, let's go. Oh, what? Alright, fine. Ow! Damn it. Go to the dentist! I don't have to deal with your stupid-ass teeth. This is gonna be one of those beginner luck things where I do a great first run, then all my subsequent runs fail to live up to it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe yes. This is like Wii Sports Resort flying the plane inside the volcano. Oh wow, that, that is a, that is a tight turn. That is a tight-ass turn. And, oh good, my favorite. My, my favorite minigame. Can I? Thank you. No? Still no. Very specific spot they need you to stand on to use this thing. Should I go down or right? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess... Yep, out of the gate it's wrong. Out of the gate it's incorrect. No, that was wrong. Uh, or maybe, actually, maybe it wasn't wrong. Okay. I thought... See, I thought it would be wrong because it wasn't closer to the... It, it was further away from the end goal. The... Uh, 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 Looking forward to never doing those again. Oh, hey, look. Normal enemies. That can be killed with normal weaponry. For which I will still use my... My OP defender robots. And for which you will not be able to stop me. You you try as you might. Robots cannot defeat the synthenoids. I never call them... Like, the weapons always get upgraded. And I... I usually don't ever change what I call them. Because, like, I think the... The grenade and the Ratchet and the Ratchet and Clank, the 2016 remake. They, all right, they're gonna keep spawning. There's no point hanging around here. Get what got its name changed, and I would, I would always just keep calling it whatever the default name was. I think the same thing with the Pyroster and other. Just basically, whenever a weapon gets upgraded and its, and its name changes, it just I, I know that weapon by its by its the the the, the name I called it in, in the early days. So it's hard for me to adjust to calling it anything else. Anyway, uh, it looks like these guys are just gonna keep spawning infinitely. So, I don't know why I would stick around. I'm just gonna keep moving from room to room. They, so they keep pouring out of those doors. Although, here, I don't see where I'm actually meant to... Oh, right here. There's a button right there. Oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot of them, aren't there? Alright, so this is just don't kill the enemies, because why would you? They keep... They will never stop spawning. They're always gonna keep pouring out of those doors. Oh, hey, at least the doors stay open. That's nice. The doors stay open each time you... Each time you die. Did I just go in a big ass circle? Oh no, it's an armor vendor. With more more armor that I can't afford. Oh hey. 
But I recognize that, I think. Isn't that the armor that you got as a pre-order bonus in Rift Apart? The armor that I got because I pre-ordered that game and then I never used because I, I, I wanted to actually see the character and not see a weird-ass robot. Also, wasn't it just purely cosmetic? Or was that something else? I, th I think I remember there being one armor set in that game that's only there to look cool and not actually give you any protection. Probably because if it is this armor, which I assume to be the highest level armor upgrade you can get in this game, and they gave that to you at the beginning of Rift Apart, it might, you know, break the game. Anyway, I, okay, but it looks like we didn't go in a circle. Thought we did though, and can we- can you give me the other one? I like the other one. The other one's good. This one's stupid. This one is just stupid. It, it's just- it is- it's just- it's just RNG. Or I guess not- not RNG because it, it is consistent each- well, at least I assume it's consistent each time. But it's luck. It's just... Which way is the correct way? I don't know. You guess. I have no idea. It's, it's just picking random directions. I guess that did something. Oh. Didn't even realize those were what we were doing. We went in a nice little loop. Did that great? Well, before I go over there, let me restock on everything because I'm venturing into the the Arctic fields again. I don't like that you can't. Whenever you're on an incline like this, the game loses its ability to allow you to boost horizontally. It, it, it'll only launch you vertically, which makes traversing up them a little slower than it otherwise could be. But hey, we got enough for that transmission on the on the last planet now. And I assume that. It just unlocked another way we can go to find more moonstones. It looks like it did, okay. Moonstones? Moonstones! And also more things to kill, I presume. Oh my god, already there's one right here, alright. Take the turret, take all of my turrets. You know how this works. Turrets out the ass. Shoot out all the turrets. I mean, I guess, I guess we don't even really need them anymore. Oh my god, camera work with me here. Camera, what were you doing there? It was not focusing. What the hell? Uh, my dude? My dude? Are you okay? Are you- What are you- What the fuck are you doing? My dude. God, uh, uh, hmm. I don't- uh, You know, I- hmm. Something ain't right there. Something very much ain't right. I don't think his- I don't think the hitbox is there properly coordinated that a lot- That is preventing him from- From clipping into the goddamn ground. Still not dead, huh? Usually you die by this point. All right, I guess there's like a few secret shots to finish you off. Or finish me off, actually. Alright. That's the first time that strategy didn't work. Probably because I got distracted by the, the weird Yeti that kept clipping into the damn snow. That might have something to do with how, how that all went so horribly awry. Anyway, we need ten more, which probably needs to only need to find about five. Because there's, there's usually a moonstone in close proximity to one of the snake things. And the snake things will also give you a moonstone, so... We probably don't need to find that many more, if I were to guess. And anyway, we yeah, same as before. Unleash all the turrets. Unless these are like upgraded snakes. And that these are... Oh my god, the camera... The camera does not like this section. It really does not like the snowy terrain of this area. Like, at all. Alright, seeker gun time. Kill these guys first. We have the ammo to spare. Then unleash it onto you if I can. Maybe it's like the snowy terrain is also affecting the turret's ability to fire properly? Maybe? I don't know. Because like a lot of them were aiming at an incline. Okay, yeah, just kill me here. Oh sure, when I want you to kill me, you take three years. Oh also, I, I didn't have my, my synthesoid activated. That probably also had something to do with it. I didn't have the, 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 the same layer of protection that I did previously. I see two here, and then I see a, a hole for a snake over there. Let's get the- this out. Get the turret ready. Come face me, snake. There you are. Turret! Keep running around the circle. Terrain's a little better here, so I should be more easily able to lie them down on a somewhat flat surface. And then once all the turrets are down, it is... Oh, I'm f oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I fell in the water and it froze me. Oh. The camera- it just- it, it's like the- I don't know if it's the terrain of the Yetis or what, but something is- is messing with the camera's ability to stay focused on me. It really doesn't like where I am right now. Very much is not a fan of my current positioning. 
and neither is the game's frame rate, it would seem. But at least here it makes sense, because, you know, there's a lot of crap happening on screen at once. So I get it. Let's find this another... Uh, should we try? We'll try. We'll, 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 with, with the turrets that we don't have, we'll try to kill the, the giant thing. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. Okay, let's, let's focus on getting... Oh my god, the, the lag is insane on this planet. It's insane! Let's at least just try to get as many of the Moonstones as we can. Let's get all the... Let's focus on getting all the non... All the non-snake-related Moonstones. We'll get those. So then we can figure out how many snakes we have left to kill. So we have 13 right now. 14's gonna be here. We might only... Actually, we might only need to kill one more. Because I see two, and I get, that gets us to, uh... I guess it's a 15. Because we're at 13 now, make that 14. This one over here will push us over the line to 15. Oh, actually, we don't need to kill any more at all because there's there's another one up there. So now the objective is to get these moonstones. Well, rip that dream. I was going to try to get them without dying, but obviously that didn't work out too well for us. But we don't need to kill another one of them because we're about to get 16 without needing to. This one just kind of lying out on the, uh, on the side of the wall there. And also, wow, there's a lot more in this area. Okay, I thought it was going to be like exactly... That to be exactly enough that you needed that you needed to, to to mine all the moonstones in order to win. Also, I'm gonna let them kill me again because it's faster than walking all the way back there. But there's an abundance of moonstones on this planet, and is I don't is this gonna be enough for me to because this this gets us another. We already have one part for the high the hip, hypnomatic thing. This will be two parts. Is that enough, or are we gonna need another part? I, I think we're. I think I, I've been told that we need to come back to this planet, so I'm assuming that we're gonna that we will need at least one more part. Also, I don't even know where where we go to. Did someone tell us that we that we need to come back to them at some point in the game to make the hypnomatic? I I don't know. Uh, hello, we've got more moonstones. No, you have not. What? Existence is a lie. Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. <sighs> Okay, I think we're good. I think that's all we can do on this planet for the time being. Yeah, the only thing left is find Angela, and we need the Hypnomatic to do that, which means we're done for now. Which means that we're out of places to go until we, we I'm guessing we need to buy that tra the transmission from, from the guy on the last planet, because I don't think we have another, I don't think we have another planet to unlock. Do we? I think this is the last one on our list. Yeah, so we now we'll, we'll go back before we end the video, because that was shorter than I expected. We'll go back to Planet Smog. I mean, not, not that this is going to take that long. We'll go back to Planet Smog, and then we'll trade the... We will trade the 40,000 bolts that we need to get the transmission for the next planet. Hey friend, give me the next planet. Lovely long time since I've eaten. <laughs> Reporting live from Algon City, where Proto Pet Mania is in full swing. For those who've spent the past week in hypersleep, the Proto Pet is Megacorp's wildly popular bioengineered pet. Adorable, non allergenic, and housebroken, fans of the creature have dubbed it the perfect companion. Between the Proto Pet's surprisingly low price tag and its lightning fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough Proto Pets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. The entire population of that planet will be devoured. Unless we get there in time. Cool. So I assume. Our la probably our last, maybe maybe just our next, but at least we, if it's not our last, we will at least get a part for the hypnomatic on that planet, and then we will return to the snow world, rescue Angela, and probably start gearing up for a finale, if I were to guess.
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this planet was overhyped. That was nowhere near as bad as I was expecting it to be. The turret... I mean, I guess it's annoying, right? Like, I, 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 I didn't... I still don't like the whole... Hey, stop the game and go grind for Moonstone, or grind for X collectible in order to progress. That's like, it's w whatever. But it was no more unbearable than the last one, I'd say. In fact, I'd say this one was definitely easier because by this point I had the turret and I had the Synthesoid, so I can just unleash my armada of everything, let them kill the, the, the snakes and the yetis, and then collect my reward. If I'm low on health, die, spawn back at the beginning, and then just rinse and repeat. Which wasn't that bad for the first section because it was right next to where I spawned. Second section was a little more annoying because it was obviously further away. But also, there were a lot of moonstones out there that you don't need to fight the snakes to get. So, that ended up not being as big of a deal as I expected. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I guess we're alright. Next time, we'll go to Demosel and uh, save the day there. Stop all the protopets, probably get a hypnomatic part. And maybe come back to Grelbin and rescue Angela. Who knows? That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. And hope to catch you all later today for some more Ratchet and Clank going commando. Goodbye.